Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. In this video, we will discuss about Mori missions. We have discussed, we already we have discussed that finite automata is of two types. With output, without output. Am I right or wrong? We finite automata can be broadly classified into two types. We have with output will be there and without output finite automata with output finite automata without output in without output we have already discussed about epsilon n of a we have discussed about n of a and we have discussed about d of a and even we said that the power of epsilon n of a n of a and d of a are equal or the capability of all these three missions are same now we will discuss about in the coming videos we will discuss about finite automata with the output so we have more emissions and we have mill emissions are there now what is the basic difference between with output and without output if you give any string okay if you give any string which belongs to a long ways l and for that long ways you have constructed a NFA or DFA or anything then these three missions without output they will say whether the string is accepted or not we have done enough questions till now so first they will give some long ways for that long ways we will construct the either NFA or DFA or epsilon NFA whatever we want then we will take a string which belongs to long ways L then our mission should accept the string and then if we take a string which does not belongs to long ways L, then we our mission should not accept it. So they are just acting as an acceptors or not acceptors. Okay. So if, if I take any string, if it is belongs to long ways L, then our mission should accept. But they does not give any output for us. But whereas in finite automata with the output, if you give a string, they will give the output for you. The corresponding output will be there. So those two missions they are classified into more emissions and mill emissions. These two missions will give you the output and the power of these two missions are also equal. The capability of these two missions are same because for a given long ways we can construct a more emission and also we can construct a mill emission. Okay. So in the coming videos we will discuss about what is a more emission, how it can be represented and mealy mission how it is represented how can i construct a mealy mission and then we will discuss about the conversion of more mission to mealy mission and vice versa okay so uh, i hope you have understood the basic difference between finite automata with output without output now we will discuss about more mission how it can be represented and what is the basic functionality of the more emission we will discuss now the more emission yeah now the more emission can be represented in this one we have represented nfa dfa all these things now we have q we have sigma we have delta okay we have q naught we will have some O or anything you can take and we have a lambda. If you see the DFA representation or NFA representation, we have five things. We have input state will be there. Okay. A set of all states are there. Our input state, everything. If you see the DFA representation, we have five things. Q, sigma, Q0 and F further. I think we have done enough discussion on this one. We have set of states, input alphabets. We have a transition function, initial state and final state. Now if we will discuss about the representation of a more emission. Now we have a Q which represents the set of states. Same as the previous one. It represents the set of states in our mission. Now this one will represent the input alphabets because we have the output also so sigma will give you the input alphabets then 
this delta will represent the transition function okay it will represent the transition function how the transition function will look for all these things we will discuss and you have a q naught which represents the initial state we will have only one initial state only as same as your nfa dfa and epsilon nfa we have initial state then if you see that all four things are same then what else is changed we have a final state in finite automata without output like in nfa or dfa or epsilon nfa we have a final state then if you take a string if you reach to the final state then it is accepted if it does not reach to the final state we said that it is not accepted but here we are not worrying about the string is accepted or not some machine i have constructed i will give some string i want the corresponding output okay so you will not find any final state in the either mealy machine or in the mori machine whereas you will have output alphabets in place of final state you have output alphabets and you have output function this is extra thing will be there okay so these two are the replacement for the final state in the nfa dfa and epsilon nfa okay now each one will discuss as you know that what is the set of states okay and we know what is an input alphabet so if i take input alphabets are a comma b so these are the i all using these alphabets i can generate the strings and transition function will be same as the dfa meaning is that it is a deterministic machine mealy machine and mori machines they are deterministic they are non deterministic so they are deterministic meaning is that from a state by taking an alphabet infinite alphabet i will go to only one state it, so i can say that this mealy machines and mori machines are deterministic in nature and your initial state will be there which is a subset of set of states and you will have output alphabets so like you have input alphabets you will have output alphabets like 0 1 you can have capital a capital b something okay just to differentiate with the input alphabets output alphabets will give different symbols and we have a output function now this output function will classify the difference between a mori machine and mealy machine when it comes to mori machine the output function can be written as for a state you will have a output alphabet let me represent again the output function of a mori machine for each state you will have a output alphabet okay the output alphabet is can be represented as zero so or o so q you have a o so for each state you have a output alphabet let me write a simple one okay you have a q not state uh, you have a q not you have a q1 you have a zero here you have a one here you have on a a on a on b on b we don't worry what is this machine it is okay we will not worry what is this machine we will check whether it is deterministic or not just for your understanding i am taking a small example i don't worry wh what it is okay now you you should have basically six items let we see what are they we should have set of states so here the set of states are q not and q1 are the two states so q represents the two states and your input alphabets are in my case a comma b okay your transition function should be deterministic meaning is that for each state on each alphabet you should go to only one state okay so if you see that q not on a it is going to q1 q not on b is going to q not similarly q1 on b is going to q1 q1 on a is going to q not so for each state on each alphabet you have a transition okay your initial state so your q not will act as a initial state your output alphabets here my output alphabets are 0 comma 1 are my output alphabets is it clear q not on 0 i am giving q1 on 1 so the output alphabets are 0 comma 1 and my input alphabets are a comma b now my output function so each state there is an output okay so now let me take a small example 
how the output will be generated if I give a some input string. Let's take that I have given a string called AB. AB is my input string. Now where initially I am? I am initially in the state called Q0. Please remove, please watch it clearly. There you are in the initial state Q0. You have given an input string AB. So if you are in a input state Q0 means initial state Q0, what is the output you are getting? 0 is the output you are getting because each state there is a corresponding output. So initial state you are in initial state Q0. So the output you are generating is 0. Now Q0 on A you are reaching to a state called Q1. Q0 on A you are reaching to a state called Q1. So what is the corresponding output of the state? 1. So you got a 1 is an output. Now Q1 on B you are going to a state called Q1 itself. So what is the corresponding output 1? So if you take an input as a, b, you got the output as 0, 1, 1. Are you able to understand? So this is your input and this is the corresponding output you got. Okay. So there will be no final state. Only you will have a initial state, output alphabets and output function, all these things. Okay. So I hope with this example, how the what is the representation of a more emission and if you give a input how the output will come and what is the difference between finite automata without output and finite automata with output okay so in the next video we will take few examples for constructing a more emission so that you will understand the concept in a better way thank you for watching my video